our family has been through a lot. We're struggling financially because of this. Coast Guard has always said that they were a strong supporter in mental health, diversity, and inclusion. Yet, you know, we're still in this position. Didn't have any issues up until recently uh, when I was discharged and, and have the uh, subsequent $13,000 bill. Unbelievable. Talk about adding insult to injury. Those military service men made uh, members were fired over the vaccine mandate. They didn't want to get it. Now being forced to pay back their original recruiting bonuses. What a joke. Outkick founder Clay Travis is here. So now you don't need the vaccine, but those people who stood up and said, I don't want it for religious reasons or whatever, health reasons, now they want, they're kicked out and they got to give back their bonus. Clay, does that make sense to you? No, it's indefensible. And uh, every member of the House of uh, Representatives in the Republican Party right now should be outraged. And to Kevin McCarthy's credit, new speaker, and all of those members, they managed to get this COVID shot requirement removed to, uh, to enlist in the military. The next step is certainly we can't demand that people repay their bonuses when they were forced to leave the military. It was not their choice at all. That is indefensible. But the next step here, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is every single military member who was discharged for refusing to get this COVID shot should be rehired with back pay uh, and have any uh, strikes yeah. against their service removed from their record, and they should get an apology from the United States government for anyone trying to force them to get a COVID shot that they do not need, that if they are young and healthy, likely provides a limited, if any, benefit to them whatsoever and may well have detriments as the data continues to reflect. Over 8,400 service members have been uh, kicked out of the military since the mandate. 3,717 Marines. We need all of them. 2,041 uh, yes. Navy sailors, almost 2,000 Army soldiers. While we miss every recruiting goal uh, and every branch of yes. the service, we kick out people that have already proven themselves to us. Army fell 15,000 short. National Guard, 7,500 short. Navy bent 10% of the recruiting goal. The Marines met 30% of its goal, and yet we kicked them out. It makes absolutely no sense. I want to tap into your sports, mind for, uh, your sports mind for a second, but still stay with the COVID theme. Aaron Rodgers got immu uh, immunized, but didn't get the shot famously. Yeah. And he says the whole perception of him in the league and the country changed. Listen. There's heroes and villains in in sports and entertainment. And I think because of my stance on COVID uh, and maybe some other things, I've been cast as the villain, especially the last few years. This woke culture wants to be offended by everything. You just go online and find something you don't agree with. I'm offended. How could you possibly say that? Yes. I don't really care. I don't care who it's coming from or who said it. He's not a villain unless he's on Twitter. Not many people think he's a villain or am I wrong? Well, I, I think there are some people who consider him a villain, but they're idiots like that guy Joe Scarborough who said that anybody who's not going to get a yearly COVID shot for the rest of their life uh, is a moron, right? right? There are people like that who still believe that Aaron Rodgers is a moron. Uh, but I think as the time goes on, and as you well know, as the data continues to come out, the people who chose not to get the COVID shot uh, because they had concerns about what their health were going to be, particularly young and healthy athletes like Aaron Rodgers, I just think they look smarter and smarter, and time is going to vindicate him right. in a big way and make him a hero, not a villain. And we'll see where he play. he's playing next year. It's most likely not going to be in Green Bay. Clay, I'll see I you. I want him to come to Nashville, my hometown here. Titans need him. Come to Nashville, Eric. Okay, that's very personal for you. you got to think about his, his future. <laughs> uh, uh, Clay, I'll see you at the yeah. Super Bowl. And meanwhile, uh, click on I can't wait. It's going to yep. be a fun time. I think it's, it's going to be a very good game. Where whoever plays, uh, outkick.com is the place to go. Uh, thanks, Clay. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.